Hey everyone, it's April with The Tattooed Type, and today I wanted to do a really fast review of uh, Donna Michelle Makeup Foundation. I got this at the Dollar Tree locally, and I have yet to do a review of it, so I thought I would. When I saw this at the Dollar Tree originally, I got really excited because I'd never heard of it before and I really liked the packaging. The packaging made me think anyway that it was like way more expensive, like it shouldn't have been at the Dollar Tree. But once I bought it and got it home, I was telling my mom about it and she was like, oh yeah, Donna Michelle, that's been around for a long time, that's a dollar brand. And I was like, crap. So I didn't know what it was going to be like. I got the light number one foundation. Um, at my local Dollar Tree, they only had like light number one, light number two, and like a bunch of the dark shades, which just obviously wouldn't work for me at all anyway. So I got light number one just because I'm, I'm olive complexion. I have an olive complexion, but I'm kind of like on the lighter side of olive complexion. So, um, I thought maybe light number one would work. Anyway, my first impression on it, I did um, use it one night, and um, I did like a quick video, but I ended up like not uploading that video for whatever reason, I forget why, it wasn't because of the makeup, but I just forget why I didn't upload it, and um, my first thought on it, like when I put it on the back of my hand to apply it, is that it's really, really liquidy. Like I usually don't have foundations that are so liquidy as this one so here's kind of like what it looks like just on my hand and this is like obviously a large sample but here's what it looks like on my hand and then I'm gonna try to like kind of blend it in it might even be too light for me it looks kind of light but I'm gonna try to just blend it a little bit just kind of give you guys like I guess like a thin layer so you can get an idea of like what it looks like. It's really liquidy so as much as I put on it's covering like the whole back of my hand and even like of my arm a little bit. But it'll give you guys a good idea so you can see like it's really really liquidy wow. It's even more liquidy than I remember. I don't know how long this stuff would take to dry. But here's kind of you guys see it's like all over the back of my hand. It stops right about here, and it's all up here. It's... I don't like it, okay? I know it's a dollar store brand, and I know everybody's going to be like, Oh, well, you know, it's only a dollar. What are you going to expect? But I really think it's crap. I wouldn't waste my money. I would take my dollar from the dollar store, plus tax, whatever. I have to pay tax. I live in Texas. But I would take my dollar from the dollar store, and I would buy, like, some yummy candy or gum or a cool lip gloss or something or something else but I would not buy the Donna Michelle and you guys know I try really hard to be like objective and most of my review videos have been on things that I absolutely love but this is a review video on something that I absolutely do not love I wouldn't have wasted my money on it if I knew now what I knew then okay guys so this is my honest review this video was not endorsed by this company or sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I thought I'd say that. Not that it really matters because you guys probably know that already. But anyway, follow me on Twitter at the Tattoo Type and catch my blog, thetattootype.blogspot.com. And once again, this is April, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.